Holy Communion, or the Lord's Supper, is a way to celebrate our intimate connection and ongoing relationship with Jesus. Jesus invites all his people who have trusted in him for salvation to partake in communion. Communion is our opportunity as the people of God to spend time in quiet meditation, considering and confessing our sins. Once we have confessed these sins, we partake in the bread and juice as an act of worship. Communion is a reminder that Jesus freely gave his life so that we might be forgiven and adopted as God's children. We take it not as an act of contrition and penance, but worship, because in Christ we have been forgiven. We also take the Lord's Supper as a foretaste to a future time where we will dine at the banquet feast of Christ in heaven. I am going to lead us through a simple response time as we partake in communion as you feel led from your home. For the next 60 seconds, we are going to invite you to pray for a moment and to confess any sin you are convicted of this morning. The Apostle Paul shares with us a simple way to remember Jesus' atoning work in 1 Corinthians 11. In verses 23 and 24, he says, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At this time, please pass out the bread that you have set aside for you and those present and eat. In the same way, also, he took the cup. And after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Now you may share the juice or wine you have set aside for you and for those present, and drink. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, You have graciously accepted us as living members of Your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for communion and that it reminds us of the magnitude of your love for us and the way in which it encourages us to continuously worship you. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord, amen.